Got milk? Does God's word tell us to drink milk? Let's take a look. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Video Worship Guide. I am Pastor Mark. Thanks for making this a part of your weekly routine as we abide in God's word and grow in our faith together. We're going to continue our series through 1 Peter. So if you will, get your Bibles out. We're going to be in 1 Peter chapter 2. We are finishing, we finished chapter 1 last week and we are jumping right into to chapter 2 this week. Uh, we will be in uh, chapter 2 verses 1 through 8. Let's begin by reading God's Word. So put away all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all slander. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk that by it you may grow up into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. As you come to him, a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God chosen and precious, you yourselves, like living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in Scripture, Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone of a cornerstone chosen and precious and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame so the honor is for you who believe but for those who do not believe the stone that the, re the builders rejected has become the cornerstone and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense they stumble because they disobey the word as they were destined to do babies need milk uh, it's a basic necessity for growth for every child. We know this. Uh, without milk, uh, there all sorts of health problems can arise that uh, cause developmental problems in a person that can uh, stretch into their adulthood even. Um, milk is important. Peter tells his church, tells this church that he's writing to, that just as babies long for milk and need that sustenance, they ought also, and so also should we, to long for pure spiritual milk. What is this spiritual milk? Is, God, is Peter telling him, hey, there's a, there's a pure kind of milk out there, and if you find it, it's very spiritual, and if you drink it, all your problems will go away, and you'll grow up into maturity, and everything will be great. Of course not. We know that, that Peter here is using some figurative language to, get, to make a point, uh, to get a point across so that we can understand. We, we understand milk. We understand that babies need milk. We understand that in order to grow, milk is a vital part of that process. So what is this spiritual milk then? Well, it's what we talked about there at the end of chapter 1 and what, what we even talked about here in, in this passage uh, between verses 1 and 8. Uh, it's... It's talking about God's Word. <laughs> when we taste and see that the Lord is good through His Word, and as we experience Him through this Word and by the power of the Holy Spirit, we grow into Christians, into mature Christians. We, we grow in our faith. We, we, we grow in holiness. We grow in godliness as we take in this sustenance as we take in this spiritual milk pure spiritual milk so just as babies though if they don't receive this nourishment they have all sorts of health problems so then we if we are not taking in this daily nourishment we'll have all sorts of spiritual health problems and if we don't deal with them soon they can have major effects in our lives so basically what peter is telling these people and us now today is he's saying it's time to grow up take in the daily sustenance you need take in the pure spiritual milk long for it just as a baby longs for milk are you longing for and receiving your daily sustenance from God's Word what Need, here, here's where the rub comes. What needs to be cut out of your life? What needs to be cut out of my life to make sure that I am getting the time I need to receive the nourishment from God's Word? 
What is that thing for you? Maybe it's TV. Maybe it's getting up a little bit earlier, a little less sleep. Whatever it might be, what is it that you need to cut out and replace with time in God's Word? Our memory verse is 1 Peter 4.19. Therefore, let those who suffer according to God's will entrust their souls to a faithful creator while doing good. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for the pure spiritual milk of your word. I thank you that you have given us all we need for life and godliness to sustain us, to nourish us, to grow in maturity as followers of you. God, that's the goal that you have for us, is to be more and more like Jesus every day. So God, thank you for providing this milk. Thank you for giving us your word and help us to cut things out of our life that, that take the place of getting into your word every day. We love you. We thank you for your grace and mercy and love. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us this week. Uh, continue uh, to come back uh, week after week. And we'll continue to work our way through uh, 1 Peter as we talk about this call of hope that we have as Christians. We'll see you next time.